Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about Potter's five forces model. This is one of the most important models or framework in a strategy. Potter's model talks about the market attractiveness of an industry in terms of its profitability. Let us try to understand five forces model through three different industry setups, airlines, FMCG and information technology or software services. What do you think of airlines industry? Do you think it's cool and sexy? I also think so. But is it so? Would you set up an airline company if you have got money? Let us find out what Michael Potter would like to say about this. Welcome to Marketing by Vijay. Please subscribe the channel and like the video. Your comments are most welcome. Michael Potter formulated this five forces model in 1979 to analyze competition in the market and to help determine the market attractiveness of an industry in terms of its profitability. So here you need to remember three key terms. The first one is analyzing competition. The second one is market attractiveness and the third one is profitability. That's why Potter developed this model in reaction to a very popular tool which was called SWOT analysis. That is strength, weakness, opportunities and threat model which Potter found both lacking in rigor and ad hoc. That's why he developed the model. Potter was of the view that a company does not only deal with the existing competitors in the market but also get affected by four other forces which needs to be taken care of. That's why he developed five forces model. Before you check out five forces, you need to understand two aspects. First, an unattractive industry is one in which the effect of these five forces reduce overall profitability while the attractive ones will be enhancing overall profitability. Secondly, the overall industry attractiveness does not imply that every firm in the industry will return the same profitability. Firms are able to apply their core competencies, business model or network to achieve a profit above the industry average and that's possible. Let us check out these five forces. These five forces are industry rivalry, threat of new entrants, threat of substitutes, bargaining power of suppliers and bargaining power of buyers. Potter's five forces include three forces from horizontal competition, the threat of substitute products or services, the threat of established rivals and the threat of new entrants and two others from vertical competition, the bargaining power of suppliers and the bargaining power of customers. Now let us take an example to understand the model. What about taking an example of the airline industry? Airlines you may be familiar. The views expressed regarding the airline industry is based upon Potter's thoughts. Let us talk about the first force, industry rivalry. What is industry rivalry? For most industries, the intensity of industry rivalry is the major determinant of the competitiveness of the industry. How many firms are there in the industry? How big are they? The larger the number of competitors along with the number of equivalent products and services they offer, the lesser the power of a company. On the other hand, when competitive rivalry is low, a company has greater power to charge higher prices and set the terms of deals to achieve higher sales and profits. Then in airline industry, you may find that there are many airline companies which are operating in different countries and the rivalry is very, very high. You may find a lot of rivalry among airline companies like American Airlines, Delta Airlines, EasyJet, Singapore Airlines, Air New Zealand, Qantas, 
कतार एयरवेज वर्जिन ऑस्ट्रेलिया इमिरेट्स ऑल निपन एयरलाइंस ईवीए एयर कैथे पैसिफिक जापान एयरलाइंस इंडिगो एयरलाइंस एंड सो ऑन सो इफ द राइवलरी इज हाई इट मींस इट विल बी लेस अट्रैक्टिव एंड लेस प्रॉफिटेबल बट इफ यू जस्ट टेक द कंपटीशन इन पिक्चर देन यू कॉन्ट जज industry attractiveness you need to look at four other forces the second force is threat of new entrants this is a real threat for any industry if more and more players join the industry profitability may go down ultimately the less time and money it costs for a competitor to enter a company's market and be an effective competitor the more a company's position may be significantly weakened an industry with strong barriers to entry helps companies to charge higher prices and negotiate better terms under threat of new entrants we take into consideration various factors like existence of barriers to entry in some form of patents rights etc government policies capital requirements brand equity economies of scale product differentiation distribution channel customer loyalty etc let us check out an example in airline industry threat of new entrants are quite high as you can start your airlines by even leasing one aeroplane but it may be low in case of fmcg like soft drinks category with players like coke and pepsi as brand equity and customer loyalty to these brands is so high that it becomes a big deterrent to enter the market again in the it industry or software the threat of new entrants is low let us talk about the third force that is threat of substitutes substitute means replacement can your products or services may be substituted can pepsi or coke may be substituted the answer is yes it can be substituted by coffee or tea or even water on the other hand you may also increase the consumption by promoting coke or pepsi a lot but in the case of it services or software there is a difficulty in substitution while airline may be substituted by public transport or by a car or by water wage so you need to take into consideration substitutes also as it may impact market attractiveness and ultimate profitability fourth factor is bargaining power of suppliers any firm or a company cannot work in isolation it is dependent upon its suppliers a firm needs to have raw materials components labor and services such as expertise to produce in the case of coke and pepsi the raw materials you require are water sugar and few chemicals these suppliers are a plenty that's why bargaining powers of suppliers will be low here but in the case of airline companies the bargaining power of aeroplane manufacturing firms like boeing and airbus may be too high even the airline leasing companies bargaining power may also be high again fuel prices are also volatile and your pilots and airline crew may act pricey and this may put you in the tight spot so you need to take into consideration suppliers also fifth and last force is bargaining power of buyers bargaining power of buyers is their ability to put the firm under pressure in airline industry buyers sensitivity to price is high and it puts a lot of pressure on airline companies the bargaining power of buyers may be reduced if you have good loyalty program and customers stick to you in the case of coke or pepsi buyers are loyal to the brand and their bargaining power of buyers tends to be low bargaining power of customers will also be low when the customers have got fewer choices so understanding potter's five forces and how they apply to an industry can help a company to direct its resources 
to generate higher earnings for its investors and stakeholders. But the markets are dynamic. You need to assess the same regularly and five forces does just that by giving you tools for understanding the dynamics of the industry and taking the right kind of decision. Let us recap. Potter's five forces are industry rivalry, threat of new entrants, threat of substitutes, bargaining power of suppliers and bargaining power of buyers. So that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. If you are looking for other topics in marketing, please check out my other videos on marketing on my channel Marketing by Vijay. See you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.